So how do you uh, how do you go from a top down culture, which kind of sounds like you may have started that way somewhat, to this sort of an aligned culture? How do you how do you make those moves? Is that an okay question? Yeah, that's a great question. The process actually takes you through that. Um, you know, there's the top down, there's the bubble up, and there's all the you know in betweens. And what's been really helpful is I've gone through this process with Mike Merchant and um, really lived this is that. There's the, um, you set your key objective, your service line objective, and then you're inviting other people to be part of that process by setting, contributing objectives, so to say. You got your processes and your activities, and they go and build their personal work plan. How am I going to be helpful? And then you have that mindset, that collaborative mindset, that outside triangle, going out, coming back in. And having that mindset, um, is what makes all the difference. That's what made Ford, Allen, so great at Ford, is that they had this inward mindset for so long that all of a sudden, Allen showed up on the picture and he just gave them somebody different to respond to. And it invited them to, um, to look at others and how I could help Ford be successful. How can I help the North America or the Europe or, you know, be successful? And that's what the process does. It helps you look at others. And going top down, you're not focused on others. Chris, a recent example of this in our company. So Chris, Casey is always great at explaining uh, the technical parts of it. I just think of what's happened recently in our company. Um, and it shows you the importance of the mindset of the leader, uh, like Alan's, is we had developed a process. So any customer that is unhappy with our service, uh, we contact them and find out why and what we can do to fix it. So that process had, you know, become very laborious internally for us. And, you know, we service a couple thousand customers a month and, you know, a, a small percentage are dissatisfied, but that gets to be a lot of people with the amount of people we, we serve and, and it's taking up too much time internally and we were double checking too many facts before we just take care of the problem. And and I was getting frustrated with that because we weren't responding to the customers quick enough. You know, we want to be there, you know, six hours later, we want to identify the problem and set up at their convenience uh, to resolve it within a couple days. And it was taking us even a day or two to even get back to the customer. And as we went through the process, I realized the reason why is because everybody was trying to document that they were doing their job and the blame couldn't be put on them. And of course we don't want that mindset, but then I, I realized, so where's that coming from? Well, it's coming from me for when something goes really wrong and we go down the trail of what happened that, that I, was, I was casting the blame down. I was making them prove that they did their job. So, you know, on 95% of the things they go fine, but that few that go wrong the whole way, uh, I was casting too much blame. And my mindset wasn't, how can we help our customer? Or how can we help our our customer service representatives take care of this problem quickly, they're spending their time trying to show that they did their job and they, they couldn't be blamed if something went wrong. And once I, I, and I even called a meeting and I set it out in the open, I, I, and, it, and, it, and it's made the process much better for the customer, it's made it but much better internally. As management, what we have to live with is sometimes things will go wrong all the way and we have to, we have to trust our people and, tr and trust our process and in a way uh, accept that. That's, that's a great example. Um, you know, as someone on the outside looking at your organization, I'll never know the details you know, and so to share those are really helpful. I appreciate you doing that. <laughs>